conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Well, I've got a science news story here. First of all, I've said this on my personal opinion, only knowledge. In fact, not casting any spurs, no for entertainment purpose. Only please check the disclaimers. Here's the deal. Apparently, a researcher claims that there is now proof of the existence of Bigfoot. Yes, the creature of legend, the massive primate that has from time to time cropped up in sightings in many, many locations. Here's the deal. Apparently, according to this researcher, they've, they've, they've supposedly found some kind of sample and they've run DNA testing on it. And the supposition that they have is that uh, Bigfoot actually came about as part of a crossbreeding between humans and some other kind of unknown primate species about 15,000 years ago. This theory holds that it was human females breeding with these male unknown primates that supposedly created what we know as Bigfoot. Now, of course, the picture that I'm showing you here is not of, of Bigfoot. It's of a, a, a gorilla. But Bigfoot's supposed to be, you know, pretty hairy and, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, and have, you know, be, have massive musculature, not unlike, quite frankly, in my personal opinion, a much larger gorilla that would walk upright in some depictions that I've seen. So I felt that it was an appropriate picture to try to get some kind of guesstimate as to what a Bigfoot might perhaps look like. I'm not talking about movie stuff or, or anything like that. I mean, we, you know, if, this, if Bigfoot is indeed real, and I'm not saying that it is, I think we need to look at examples in real factual life, not Hollywood special effects and stuff like that. I myself have a lot of questions about this. And quite frankly, I personally, in my personal opinion, I'm very skeptical about this. Nonetheless, it's a fascinating theory. Do you think it could possibly be true? Like I said before, I myself am personally extremely skeptical about this. You know, look, I, I want to see how the findings bear out. I want to see what the peer review uh, process yields. But do I personally believe it at this point in time? Absolutely not. Here's the deal. Here, you, you know, um, but I'm fascinated by it and I want to see, you know, again, I want to see what this peer review process yields and I want to see where the evidence leads. Here are my concerns among, uh, you know, just actually a small part of my concerns. Number one, where'd you get the sample? Number two, um, how well was the sample handled? Now, I have no idea what the answers are to this, but these are just my questions. You know, was the sample possibly contaminated? Um, the other thing is, is, okay, so you got this sample, but you know, here's some other questions with, with this theory. One is, where is the original primate that supposedly and, and you do, there's that population still around and alive that supposedly, you know, um, mated with human females. That's number one. Number two, the legend of Bigfoot, as I understand it, is a much larger than human type of species. I mean, I've seen, you know, anything. You know, it depends on on which sources you look at or whatever like that. But but I mean, I you know, anything from you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet tall. Think about that, hence the name Bigfoot, right? These massive prints and everything like that. Uh, Sasquatch, you know. And the question then, and, and again, I'm no doctor, I'm no geneticist or, or anything like that, you know, no question, but I mean, I'm just, you know, just using my own brain now. I am a super genius. Um, like, if, how much bigger would the primate that mated with the human female have to be to sort of get that merging uh, for science, if you will. Unless you're going to posit that 
that the uh, that the primate was actually closer to human size. In other words, would would, would that primate have to be almost giant size? Basically, I mean, Sasquatch basically is you know uh, massive in size anyway. Um, unless you're going to try to theorize it, like well, it, it's almost like when you combine a tiger with a lion, you get a liger that the resulting hybrid offspring is much larger than its parents. I, I don't know. To me, that just, you know, there's certain logistical questions with this theory as well. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I could be completely off base in that kind of uh, logic, but, you know, I'm just putting that out there. The other thing is, is like, okay, what about, okay, so let's say that happened 15,000 years ago, and that's how Bigfoot came about. Well, did those original male primates continue mating with human females? If so, what happened there? Or did the Bigfoot population continue just breed amongst themselves? I mean, I, I don't know. I, again, I have a lot of questions about this. Well, tons of questions about this. I'm extremely skeptical. What do you think? I, I leave it up to you. I'm terribly excited to see what happens. So even though I'm skeptical, I want to see the evidence. I want to see the peer review. I want to see what comes of this. Maybe this is going to be a huge scientific discovery. Maybe it's going to turn out to be nothing. What do you think about this? You tell me where you're at on it. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching conservative new media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.